dumbest debate I've ever had. <laughs> We gotta get one last little drive. Adios? Yeah. Otherwise, the spooky stuff's not coming back till next year. Or if you go to Aunt Shelly's house, it'll be year round. I wanna go see Mr. Oogie Boogie? Is that Dan? Is that Mr. Boogie? That's Dan. All right, no, we're gonna go see it one last time. Say bye, Mr. Boogie. I'm sad. Mr. Boogie. You're swimming, buddy. You're crushing it too today. You did so good. Sorry, I just went like this. You did it all by yourself. Daddy, go give it to Daddy. Can I see it? You were swimming. She's crushing it now. I honestly have no idea. I think it's like eight or six. Regardless, Remy is starting to finally get a hang of it, the hang of it, and she's starting to be a little mermaid. She crushed it today, absolutely crushed it. We're gonna be starting to do the swim lessons here at the house as well as going there, so we're gonna be doubling it up. So that way, we can really crush this. But since it's been a little cold, I gotta show you guys what we, uh, what we got, just in case. And uh, hopefully they'll fit her. And then that way, I do it pretty cute actually. Wanna wear a wetsuit? It's so cute. Wanna wear this? No, it's a cute Luna. It's a cute Luna. 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 Most people would think we're absolutely ridiculous. It's Florida, why would you need a wetsuit? But our pool, for a baby, is awfully cold. For a toddler, you know? I also woke up this morning and I was just like very agitated. You ever get that? Like when you just wake up, agitated feels like for no reason. And that's how I, f uh, I felt this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just getting rid of everything. I know I've been saying that I'm minimalizing for the longest time, but today my agitation for some reason, randomly, and it shouldn't be because it was an awesome day. I think also it has to do with, you know, it's always something gets me agitated or on edge uh, just before an MRI, which I have tomorrow, early morning. Like, that probably has a like, nice little uh, topper to the whole situation, might be putting me over the edge. I'm just gonna destroy and get rid of every single thing I don't want, or don't need anymore, I should say. Feeling a little bit better about this. I'm just gonna tackle this. I think I'll be pretty happy with this. Obviously got my Simpsons stuff over there. As you know, I'm not throwing those boxes away. Other boxes, yeah, I'll throw away. You know, Adidas, whatever. Simpsons boxes, no way. I also found this. I must have done this in a, uh, a drunken Amazon order. <laughs> but apparently I have a brand new pair of chucks in here that I've never worn. So I'll save for the tour that eventually happens in 2025, maybe? Maybe 2040? That's kind of like one of those, fun there was a South Park episode about that where I think uh, Sam's mom was just like drinking wine and just on Amazon. <laughs> I feel like that's my life. But there's a bunch of other things in here that I am, oh, for example, look at this. I don't know if you guys have this or remember this. This is like from 2015, 2016. Actually, I love these hats. I think this is literally the only one I own. I don't even own the other ones. It's kind of sad. But this is my favorite. This is one that's sold out in like an hour or something like that. It's repurposed my jeans. So for example, these jeans, oh crap, where did I just do it? There. I haven't worn these things probably, I don't even know how long. Let's see, that's better, better right there. Obviously we're still trying to fold all that stuff. So what I usually like to do is just cut them into shorts. Ow. I like your boots, buddy. Careful. Careful. The big greatest thing about cleaning is finding random things, and this is probably the cutest thing. Canada! I don't even know where that hat came from, but you found it. You rock it better than me or mom. Remy and Char are outside right now. Um, <laughs> uh, we're at the stage now where Remy likes to just not wear anything. 
So um, she'll be out there, we'll be in here together talking. I'm gonna like start out the day in like a big funk. I don't know why, I don't know if it's like the weather or what, but we just like, we're just like in this like weird sluggish mode. Typically, not necessarily typically for us, but like a lot of times when we feel sluggish, we're very late to do things and we're very delayed to get things done or we just don't do them. And today we like looked at each other and like, we can't do that, we just can't do that. It's not heading in the right direction for us. So we've been trying to be actually super productive. We, every couple of months, we go through these like moments where we, no joke, we just start getting rid of tons of stuff. You know, like old clothes, dishes, movie that we don't use anymore, toys. We donate toys because if she doesn't use them anymore, we can't keep them around the house. And we just do a lot of donating because it, one, it feels so good to like clean it out and two, it's like less clutter for us. Cause I have to tell you, the amount of laundry that I do kind of infuriates me a little bit. I, I do kind of like blame myself, but like we have so much clothes and so much like like towels and, and sheets, and just like weird things that have accumulated over time that I've either found in like a drawer upstairs in the closet or I found in a drawer in our room and I'm like, why do I have this and why do we have so much of it? So that's why we do these like cleansing things. One, it feels so good to declutter and two, it needs to happen. I think that's the biggest thing for us is that it needs to happen. So today we've just been like utilizing our time the best way we know how. You are really cute today. I don't know what's going on. You're so cute after Halloween. So, it's something like triggered in you and you're like the coolest cat ever. You know, it's not the most exciting vlog, but it it's just, you know. Here we are, here we are. We did swim lessons today, which is really great, and we have private lessons that are starting on Thursday, but I stepped in the pool today and I was like, holy crap, thank God we got a wetsuit. I genuinely thought that the girl who does her lessons at uh, the place that we're going to right now, I thought she was gonna laugh at me when we are like, yeah, we got her a wetsuit. She said, that we were so smart because so many parents don't do that and then their kids are like just freezing their butts off. I was like, I just wanna warn you, it's like cold. It's like 72 degrees in there. She's like, oh yeah. She's like, I only wear this long sleeve thing when I'm uh, teaching because I have to. She's like, typically that doesn't even bother me. More power to her. I'm like, I feel more and more confident about Remy being around the pool, obviously not by herself, but I feel better about it. That's like my worst fear as a parent is having something like that, like a drowning or, and I, like that, that, I don't know. To me, that's like the worst possible thing. One of the worst possible things that could happen. And I, and it's a big fear of mine. And I, and I know that's a big fear for Char. And you know, we've always taken every necessary precaution that we can with this pool. And this is just like the next step. And we honestly, we had wished that we could have done it earlier. Um, but you know, with COVID and quarantine and everything like that, it was just so difficult for it's happened for us to even get that opportunity to do it. We're doing it now. Okay, we'll get the bubbles going. You want to get your bubble machine going? I feel bad. We played a little prank on you, didn't we? I'll sit. You want to sit? Okay, you want to sit and help? Okay, it's only temporary sitting then, okay? Yeah, we played a little prank on Remy. Um, as true to that form, Remy fashion. Okay, we got to sit right there, okay? Okay, stay right there. No, nope. you can watch what I'm doing. She actually took it with a stride. I'm going to upload that. Okay. Yeah, that's a wrench, remember? Okay, what we're doing, Remy, is we're gonna switch the batteries. Yeah. Yeah? You knew that? Already? So if you wanna watch that little prank, make sure to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description directly. Oh no. Um Daddy, happy. Yeah. You took it really well though, right? Here, I need you to sit back. Okay? Thank you. Dad, you. That's the screwdriver. Let's try to be good on this, okay? Now, what we're doing is we're taking apart your little guy so he blows bu bubbles a lot better. So we're gonna sit back down, okay? Yeah. Careful, careful. That does you can't play with that. Oh no. I don't want it. No, I know you're that power weight there. Yeah. <laughs> Grabby. I guess I should have probably thought of that before, allowing you to see what I'm doing. Alright, so careful you turkey. Alright, where's all the batteries? That's your job. Go find the batteries. Find them for me. Put them right here. Uh oh. Put them right, put them right here. Good find. Oh, they're a little heavy, aren't they? 48 batteries. I'm helping you, Pat. Okay, ready? It's funny, I remember as a kid, you would need like double A or uh, you would need C batteries or D batteries. Now you just need 40 million double A batteries. Hey, Daddy. Can you help? Coming. You coming? 
I don't know which ones are the new ones. Are these new? Much better sounding. Are you gonna put, no, we don't need more batteries. Yeah. The amount of time we uh, use this thing. Yeah. Right? Right. Right. Do it. Okay. Right. Let's go put some bubbles in this thing and get it. It's working. It was working. We just fixed it. Thank you for bringing the batteries. Now we gotta get rid of the bad ones. Good job. Appreciate it. Let's go do this. Gotta put the batteries back. Those we can throw away. You, yeah, you know where the trash is, right? Thank you, throw them in the trash. Please, drop them in the trash can. Let's go fill up a bubble machine. Red, ripe tomatoes. Okay, there's your difference right there. Allie and I are currently fighting because- We're not fighting, we're not fighting, but- no, we're fighting. Because hey, no. it's fundamental difference between Hunt's and Heinz ketchup. Okay, but I also need to there's clarify that I bought Hunt's 100% natural ketchup thinking it's thicker and richer, Charles would like this, okay? I almost kicked her out of the house. And then he said, no, it's disgusting. I only eat Heinz. So I just bought this giant one, but to be a nice person and a good effing wife, I just went and bought- An educated one now. Hang on, Heinz ketchup. But let me just read the ingredients. Wait, okay? there's no sugar in that one. Yeah, because that's what I got you last time and you liked that. Oh. No added sugar. The first ingredient in Hunt's- It's all gonna be the same is tomato, tomato concentrate made from vine ripened tomatoes. Concentrate from red ripe tomatoes, okay? And you wanna know what else is in here? Oh, I don't like that. You're not gonna like this. This one's got some sucralose in it. No sugar added, so therefore- But I didn't know. Well, I'm just I saying- I don't know, that's... I don't eat ketchup, mother ever. No, so that's that's a handicap. You can't, this isn't okay. the high, that's not high. This one, it's got distilled white vinegar, salt, natural flavor, and any beauty, cyclish, which I now know is bad. Spice. Not normally found in ketchup. Sucralose. The thick stuff. Tomato concentrate made from vine ripened tomatoes. Cane sugar, distilled vinegar, salt. Less than 2% of onion powder, natural flavor. Okay, what I think I need to do, because I don't even like ketchup, I'm gonna put them side by side. No, because that's, I not, taste that's no sugar added. That is not ketchup. You can't count that. It's not, no, you can't. Internet, back me up. Back me, this isn't a fair comparison, but back me up. I genuinely thought that this was just better. I don't even like it, ketchup. Okay, let me see if that's- It's not like I hate ketchup. I, I, I used to have like weird, like I would feel like I was gonna throw up before, but now I don't feel like that's gonna happen. I have to decide okay, if this is- Okay, open your mouth, let me try. No, I have, <laughs> I have to decide if this is- Don't put it on my plate, get it out of here. Yeah, I'm hoping. I have get to out decide. Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, you want not to put something good on your plate? No, I don't like this. Okay, here, I'll put on a spoon for you, you little baby. There's a spoonful of ketchup. No, no, I already know what this tastes like. No, stop it. Stop. <laughs> I have to make sure. Spoonful of ketchup. Please, that's not what I'm doing. I have to make sure that this is a fair fight. <laughs> this is the toughest debate I've ever had. <laughs> What is this crap sugar you got? I know that's that didn't get on camera either. I'm just, I'm just so worried. I'm so excited about it. Did you feel your pants? No, but that was, that was priceless. That was priceless. See, real Heinz ketchup doesn't do that. Hold on, stop it. <laughs> no, that's the fake stuff. Can I just no. try it on the spoon no, so I can taste it? If, if you don't like it, that doesn't mean that you don't like Heinz. Yeah, this is not oh. normal. This isn't normal. This, is this isn't gonna be normal. <laughs> That's disgusting. That, I'm not eating that either. Right. Maybe if it gets sicker, the more you put on there. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> there you go. That's a little more. Open up. No, stop Let's that. Try. Please don't get this. <laughs> Clean this off and get you fresh Heinz. Nope, this is Hints. This is Hands. This tastes worse than Hunt's. You don't I, even know. You need to take a bite. That one is better. Team Heinz, this is too we sweet. have a new uh, yeah, but recruit. This is, this is too sweet. You're just putting ketchup everywhere. This is too sweet, and this is saltier, onionier, and savorier. See, I was... Uh, now I don't want ketchup from there.